Hello guys, DB Grinder here, back at it again with another video, and this time we have Hunter Dash with 920 rating versus Sea Ghost with 1,350 rating, so it's going to be another high rated DB video, and with that being said, let's hop right in. We're going to go ahead and see Sea Ghosts when the Rock, Paper, Scissors shoot, and they'll decide to go first, 42 versus 50. Opening hands, we have Foxy Tune, Z Almond, Bigfoot, Disc and Bigfoot. They have Temple, Dark Ruler, Chu Chi, Lu, let's see, Lu, Lili, and Lulu. Um, so I've actually seen this deck multiple times in Rated, where they're playing like the Danger, the Punk stuff, and Therions, and Gizmek. It's like rank, it's literally just like the rank 8 Maju deck, but with like better cards in it. You know, like you have like these Tamil and stuff, and the Vampire, but they're going to activate a Temple Effect to start off, Banish, and go Search. I've also been seeing more Virtual World Brave recently, which I, I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't, it's not, I don't think either of these decks will really like pop up too much, especially this one, because this deck can never perform in a tournament. Oh, they're going to search, discard, Griffin summon out. It's just, it's Brick City. Uh, Fateful Effect to go search Draco back. And then Normal Summon, activate Kieran, target, dump, dump, special summon. And then Ching Long Effect. Banish, go search GG, and then discard Draco back. I mean, technically, this could have been done a little bit differently. You could normal summon, uh, fateful, go grab Draco back, and then get rid of it. But I guess you're playing in the draw mold more that way for like almost the same outcome. No, I actually get Griffin on board. Okay. Um, and then GG effect, dump, summon. And then get rid of those, go for Charge Warrior, Charge Warrior Effect, draw on the Lulu, and then Overlay for Beatrice, Beatrice Effect, Detach, go dump Neon. And then we're going to activate Sean Wu, Banish, Special Summon out Lulu, Discard Lulu, Neon Effect, Summon itself out, and then make Fluor, Neon, put back Temple, and then Synchro off into F.A. Don Dragster, Set Chuchi, and then End of Main. Wow. I was expecting more. But, I mean, it's not horrible. We have a Negate, Spell Trap Negate, Pop, Scythe Lock with Beatrice, or Snow, Draw e Telly, Beatrice Effect to go dump now. That's going to dump Scythe. Okay, so we are Scythe Locking. Uh, floor effect, tag out, summon, effect, lock them, decides to summon it in defense. Activate Dusk Coliseum, chain Shuchi to pop it. Yeah, it's like Therions work well under Scythe, so they're just like, nope, try to uh, not have to deal with that. Okay, so Bigfoot hits e Telly, special summon draw. Okay, hit a Therion Bowl, Bigfoot. Hits Therion. Do we draw into Ethereum? Oh, we draw King after getting rid of Bull. King effect. Wow, that was, that was actually nice. Summons the Almond effect. Pay to go search. And then it's going to grab Ogre Dance. And then activate Ogre Dance effect. That's going to attribute the Almond. Special summons the Almond effect. Make a gain 600 attack. Battle phase. Beat over. Beat over. I'll beat over that and then attack directly and then main phase two effect pop bowl chuchi pass they draw roshi okay um we didn't really need to use the zaman we probably could have left that in hand if we chose to i just now brought out ogre dance because this was just to get extra like damage in but it doesn't really matter if the opponent's at like you know eight thousand life points or at 45 uh, fateful effect to search and discard, grab temple, and then discard temple, temple effect, banish to go search right, and then activate the right, so special summon out the token, imagine they go fateful, search Draco back, normal summon Lulu, like Draco back number two, uh, Chuchi to increase the level of the Lulu, they let that go through, um... Yeah, I guess they just don't want to get punished by the last card in hand being a virtual world, right? Um, otherwise, like, if you negate Chuchi, then 
something like Roshi can really put in the work. Or even like a GG would still like be the level 3 that you're getting from Chuchi anyways, but you also get the dump and add back. They're going to make Floor, Battle Phase, Beat Over King, Main Phase 2, Effect, Pop Ogre Dance. I mean, couldn't you have... Because this, well, this only gains uh, until gains 600 attack. Okay, never mind. It is indeed permanent. Wanted to make sure on that. I was going to say, otherwise, they could attack over Ogre Dance and then pop Floor and do more damage. Obviously, you can't. Uh, they could chain the effect to gain attack here, and then that's all. So, this this is the one that only gains attack until the end phase. I, I knew one of them were. Draw e -Telly. Then, okay, um, overlay, make ding, this just forces out the only interruption, activate the e telly now to go summon, bring out Ziamen, and then Ziamen effect, pay 600, we can go grab deer note, we can deer note effect, summon itself out, and it's just like, it's just game. Uh, Pepega Ruler 1, Deer Note 2, Summon Back Out, Ogre Dance, Mill Fox, oh my god, we have Foxy Toon Gizmak? Yeah, battle phase, just crash, ding, protect, boop, go for game. So going on to the next game now, we are going to see Virtual World go first. Opening hands, we have Zeomin, Endless Engine, Talents, Lily, Called By. They have Chinglong, Called By, Droll, Prosperity, Droll. It's a pretty good game one. I mean, they beat the Scythelog. Activate Prosperity, go Banish. Yeah, just Banish 6, because like... They're very close to the virtual world brick. Oh, they're playing Hyper, Psychic, Riser. Monsters with less attack than this card cannot attack. Also, now, now your player can activate the effects of face-up monsters on the field with more attack than this card. If this card in your possession is destroyed by an opponent's current sent to the graveyard, you target a tuner and non-tuner in your graveyard with the same type and attribute as each other. Add them to the hand. Then Charge Warrior Coral. Uh, look at the top six cards now. And then we're going to choose to add back the Kieran there. Put those all to the bottom of the deck. So now they're going to activate Chinglong. Activate the Kieran effect. Target. Go dump the Lulu and Shan Wu. And then Shan Wu effect, banish, bring out Lulu, discard, they can make Vermilion here, Vermilion effect, banish, this is like the classic Kieran plus Chinglong combo, pop, Vermilion effect, add back Lulu, and then activate Lulu effect, target spell, go dump trap, grab Roshi, special summon out, and then activate the Roshi effect, target monster, dump spell, special summon, bring out Kieran from the graveyard, overlay those into Beatrice, Beatrice, dump temple, and then temple effect, banish, go search right, yeah, not fateful, a little misclick there, activate right, bring out token, bring out fateful, and then we can go fateful effect here to go search griffin, discard called by, because we're probably not going to need it, if we haven't dropped it at this point, probably not going to need to drop it at all, can hit graveyard stuff, but the they want to hold Droll because they're playing like Punk, Therion, Danger, uh, Faithful to go search Draco back. And then we can Chinglong Graveyard Effect, Banish, go search GG, discard Draco back effect to equip, GG Effect, dump Nian, summon out, Chu Chi Effect to influence the level, go in the Shen Shen, end phase, GG add back. So we end on Griffin Negate, Shen Shen, Droll potentially snow engrave pass to draw king you're going to activate endless engine now um, and this only affects cards sent from the field so they're going to go ahead dump bowl then king effect target they're letting this go effect to try to pop shen shen chain griffin okay um I'm trying to think, because they use the effect, target bull, target Shen Shen, you could chain king to get rid of Lily, and then you pop Shen, but then they get to keep Griffin, um, normal summon Ziamen effect, you get, to, you get to keep the body on board, 
Miss Lily's not really doing too much. They're gonna draw, chain called by. I guess Lily's now the the discard for the Foxy Tune most likely. So get rid of Foxy Tune, Lily, bring out Deer Note, Talents to take the Shen Shen, Link off for Hauk, Hauk effect, summon out Z Almond from deck. And then we're going to turn those into Pepega Ruler. Pepega Ruler 1, Deer Note 2, summon back out Foxy Tune, Mill 5. We see Discall CM, Foxy Driver, Discall CM. I mean, getting one of these in Graveyard is good for a future Endless Engine. And then Overlay, go for Zombie Vampire effect. Tribute, both players mill 4. Okay, they mill Temple there. Uh, also, like Gamma and Graveyard, free for Shen Shen. Uh, they mill Duke, King, Gamma, brings out King, Battle Phase, Attack Beatrice, I mean, sure. We're gonna activate, am I missing some? They just have both 28. Um, okay, but they're gonna activate the effect of Dump Driver, Zombie Vampire Beat Over, make Zeus. I guess they wanted the, the XYZ to attack, but I mean, it happens if you attack with Zombie Vampire anyways. Uh, pass, they draw Griffin. Maybe hoping the opponent messes up and makes a mistake somehow. Uh, which is fair enough. They're going to King negate the Draco back. But it stays. Yeah, King only negates the activate effects. On resolution, Hulk tag out. And then summon Formula. Formula effect, draw trade in. Hey, there we go. But uh, Ching Wong can also force the Zeus. Imagine they drew Gizmek there though, and they'd have the Synchro 10. Yeah, so they're gonna Zeus wipe on that. Get rid of everything. And then they're gonna Shen Shen, Banish, and then Chain Griffin. Okay, uh, that's not bad. Activate Lulu effect, target, dump spell, add trap. Summon out, go for Floor, Temple effect, Banish, add back right, Ching Wong, yeah, okay, they just submit the feed. Oh, I was like, they're going to have game this turn. If they mess up game, then they played it bad. But going on into game three now, we're going to go ahead and we're going to see the Punk, Therion, level 8 deck go first. We have Itali, Gizmek, Discolcium, Trade and Discolcium. This is nice. They have Dark Ruler, Ching Long, Droll, Nib, Driver. Oh, and the opponent bricked. Weird. Activate Discolcium, go search out King. So we're we trying to trade in, get rid of King, which I know puts the Therion in Graveyard, which is good for follow up Therions if we happen to draw them off our trade in or hit like Yule off our. Uh, Pega ruler, but we are Okay, we don't get hit by draw because they're afraid of gamma trading get rid of Gizmek, draw king foxy tune king effect Yeah, uh, I don't know maybe their thought process is like if I get hit with gamma I lose But how I'm thinking about it if I'm them so if I don't drop draw I'm probably just losing anyways because my hand does nothing, so I have to stop my opponent, right? Or I guess you don't want to draw and then not do anything. That's like the worst part about this card. When you have nib, maybe you drop draw, they mess up, you get the nib them. Now they're going to bring out king, bring out gizmic, you see rose whip. I don't like this card, I mean it works cool with king, but is that really what you're going to like commit to? And then you're also playing like another bad card in your deck. E Telly bring out Ziyama. We didn't banish Deer Note, right? Okay. Um, effect to go search. And then it's going to go grab Ogre Dance. Oh, they said think when you search Ogre Dance. Because they have the droll. And they're not afraid of Gamma anymore. Okay. And then Foxy Tune effect. Get rid of itself and Ogre Dance to go special summon out the Deer Note, anyways. And then get rid of those, summon Pepega Ruler, Pepega Ruler 1, Deer Note 2, Special Summon back out of Ziamin, Mill 5. Now we don't get to add anything back. Oh, but we hit Endless Engine, which allows us to add something back now. We're also playing multiple Dukes, probably just because it's a level 8, it's a light, works well, getting milled off of this. We grab back Lily, said, can I read? Yep, you may read. Um... So add that back, and then Lily effect, 
Special summon itself out and equip the Duke from the graveyard. Set anything on res. Uh, just gonna overlay for Hope Harvinger. So we're not searching, uh, which means we only play two Disc Coliseum in the deck. Otherwise, we probably would have went Lily, Send Duke, Go Search, Disc Coliseum, and then overlay. Just because like it's a free card. Oh, we can't because we're never mind, never mind, never mind, never mind. Uh, nope, 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 nope. Don't don't even start uh, under drill. Uh, make hope. Go for Hulk. Hulk effect to summon, and then that will bring out Gamma. Put Pega Ruler, summon itself out. So we're just going for the the classic calamities. King, number thirty eight. Pass. They draw GG, which doesn't actually do anything gg target spell has never been doing anything really yeah they just scoop there i knew the nib never again unless king negates <laughs> but seeing how long the match was we see that it was about 36 minutes long um this deck's kind of cool like the dangers and stuff you can see it wasn't like really focused on it probably just playing like the bigfoot as a level eight itself and then, like, the Gizmec, Traden's very strong. We still trade in even without, like, the extra Gizmec things. Uh, this deck, horrible. This deck, kind of cool. But, with all that being said, the DB Grinder, signing off. Peace. Have a nice day. Stay safe.